Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are looking at Train Mountain. Now, this is a tile built by Michi Medi, and it is an extra large tile. You guys really enjoyed the gold mine tile episode that we did last time. So today, I thought we'd dive into another amazingly giant and detailed tile as well. This is more of like a nature tile with just a railroad going through it. And I figure we build a better train this time instead of the uh, instead of the Velocipede from that episode. If you don't know about the gold mine episode, definitely go check that out. It was uh, it was an amazing it was an amazing tile to look at we had a lot of fun exploring so we're going to explore this mountain we're going to see if we can make our way up to the top on our own train down here but uh, before we get into that i just want to thank everybody i don't know if you guys noticed but we have broken 200,000 subscribers on the channel which is awesome so awesome in fact that i actually have something to show you hold on don't go anywhere wait wait one second All right, you guys ready? I don't know how this is going to work with the lights, but uh, YouTube sent me this and oh, it is just one big reflection here. I got to get the right angle. There we go. That looks good. That looks pretty good. So presented to Scrapman for passing 200,000. Oh, actually, this is only 100,000. It's a little bit, a little bit outdated. But uh, we did pass 100,000 subscribers a while ago and it took a couple of months, but uh, YouTube finally sent me this thing and I have you guys to thank for it. So thanks a lot for all the support you've given me over the past two years or so, and uh, hopefully many, many years to come. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, uh, d d what, are you, what are you waiting for? You, it, uh, a million is, the, is the, next, the next award, so let's try to get to a million eventually. Honestly, I don't really expect to get to a million anytime soon. 100,000 was my goal when I started YouTube, but I was going to be happy if I just broke 100,000 subscribers and we broke it and now I'm happy. So let's have some fun and keep on making some videos, shall we? Okay, so we got this big tile here just waiting to be explored. I don't know what's on here other than train tracks and uh, rocks and trees and flowers and bushes and hills. And there's even some roads too. It's not just train tracks, there's some roads as well. But uh, let's try the train thing first and see how this goes. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better. And I think that this starting section is actually aligned to the grid perfectly. So we shouldn't have too much of an issue trying to get ourselves on the track here. All right, I have no idea how this is gonna go, but let's get to it.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Scrap Express, or something like that. Um, I spent like maybe 30, 30, 35 minutes on this thing, including the painting and stuff. So, uh, hopefully it works, because I have not even tested it. I, I know that it fits on the track, I do not know if it runs on the track. The entire thing is made out of metal. Oh, and I see a couple of spots I forgot to paint here. So now the entire thing is made out of metal, so I know it's gonna be really heavy. I don't know how that's gonna affect things. Hopefully it affects things for the better, because it'll keep us on the track. So, uh, here is the beginnings of the Scrap Express. I even, uh, even gave myself a horn here. Alright, all aboard, even though we have no carts. Oh, oh, I should <laughs> I totally forgot to change my wheel bearings. Half of them are facing the wrong direction. Alright, here we go. Now it is time to explore Train Mountain. I have no idea what speed I said. Oh, this is a nice leisurely speed. I can get behind this. Alright, first turn. Is it working? It's working. Alright, here we go. We are exploring the Train Mountain on an actual working train. All right, I'm happy with this. I, I'm actually happy with this. It works. Okay, let's hope that we can actually uh, get through all of the different areas. So it looks like we even have a little lake, little lake area down here. Doesn't seem like there's any, uh, no no life going on in the lake there. It seems like a pretty dead lake. Probably, probably very polluted since we're like right in the middle of like a train route. I don't know what kind of trains go down here. I don't know if we're like, where, what kind of materials are being e exported or transported through these mountains. But there's some pipes down there, so it tells me that there's some type of, um, some type of construction or, like, some type of, uh, some type of things going on that probably isn't good for the leg. Alright, uh, the, there appears to be a split in the track up here. I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. Wait, how is this, how does this work? Uh... What? What? I- How is that supposed to work? I don't understand. Like, it wanted to turn me to the left. And, uh-oh. It was kind of working. But, it's like trapping me. Oh, now it's turning me to the right a little bit. Alright, are we supposed to have some type of, like, turning mechanism on our train that is supposed to do this? I thought those things were supposed to do the turning for you, like the track turns. But that's a- that's an asset. That's a static asset. So, we might have a problem here. Unless there is some kind of, like, train turning mechanism that was supposed- I didn't see anything in the description. No, there's nothing in the description about how to get past this or how this is supposed to work. And there's no link to, like, a creation that is designed for this track in particular. So, this might be a problem unless I can spawn my train up there. So, hopefully we can continue along our way. Let's see if there's a, uh, a nice... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't straight. Uh-oh. Well, let's, uh... Let's, let's follow the, let's walk our way up here and hope that we can find a nice straight part of track to continue from. Because otherwise we might have, to, okay, so it looks like it, oh, we would have to do it again up here. So that train splits for no reason. This track splits and comes right back together. You don't even go in different directions. All right, it looks like maybe here I might be able to drop the train. Please sink in to the tracks. Come on. Oh, no. All right, we might have a problem here. I'm gonna try to sink my train into the track a little bit and hope that- Oh, that was the wrong thing. Oh, this one is in. So now if we can just... Pop this one over. Where's my hammer? We're gonna do some engineering here. You know, pop- This whole thing's made out of metal. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? This is not- This is not gonna work. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back down. Ooh, this is bad. This is very bad. Alright, I just need this to turn in that direction, please. Don't worry, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna get this train on here and hope that there is not another split up ahead. Because that would ruin- Oh! <gasps> okay. 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 Straight. Okay, that's kind of straight. Now I need this whole thing to move that way. I got it. I got it. We got to build. We have to build a thing here that is going to guide the whole train into the rails. 
All right, let's see if this helps. Oh, I'm stuck under my own train. All right, now we're gonna lift or lower the lift. Oh, it's just that one in the front isn't... All right, come on, we got this. <gasps> oh, it's kind of working. This is totally gonna work. It's like, it's, it's getting there. It is getting there. All right, this is gonna help a little bit more. All right, that, that didn't quite, that didn't quite do it. We got this. There is still a ch- No! Oh, okay, so this just, uh, did a complete 180. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. All right, come on. Push it. Oh! This is progress. This is progress. Look, the front is almost in. It's just the back now. All right, so we're gonna lift it up. Oh, it seems to actually be going further over. Yes. Yes. Oh! We did it! <laughs> I can't believe this actually worked. We put it back on the track. Now let's delete all this so we can stay on track. Literally. Okay. Okay, we got it back on the track, even though the track wasn't straight. So let's hope that we... Oh, no. I have to reverse all these since this whole thing turned around. All right, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. Let's just continue along our way. Okay. It worked. We're good. We are good. All right. So, there's a cool bridge up here. Check this out. What are these railings made out of? I can't... I can't see yet. All right, well, our train's chugging along pretty well. This must be some, uh... Some modded assets here for this bridge. Look at the texture of the bridge itself. That's kind of cool. All right, so there's all the... Wait, is this a... Oh, I'm just realizing that this is a modded version of the mountain piece. He actually put rails on the scrap mechanic uh, default mountain. So this is kind of cool. Oh, we got a tunnel up here too. Check this out. This is a nice looking tunnel. I wonder if it's a standalone asset or not. I really got to look at some of these asset mods in the tile builder. And we got another bridge here. And what happens when we get to the top? Does the track just end? Does it go off? I don't actually know. Uh oh, it looks like the track might just end. This is really cool. So if you ever, oh, oh, I know what we have to do now. We have to put this train on max speed and we have to take it flying off this cliff here. Before you do that, if you guys have ever wondered what it would be like to have a train going throughout the entire mountain tile. And I like how he replaced all like those industrial uh, silos and stuff with just a nice little lake down there. That was a good touch. But uh, let's put these engines on max power. I don't know how fast max power is gonna be. It's decent, it's decently fast. Fast enough, I think. All right, so now we are gonna go full speed off the mountain with our train and just to see what happens because that's what we like to do when we have the opportunity to do something crazy. Oh, look at the speed we have. Look at the speed. Woo! -hoo! All right, and now we are a... We're still a train. We're still a train. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. That was all planned. Good thing we don't have any passengers, though. They may not have been happy with that ride. But, uh, yeah, this is the train mountain it's called on the workshop i'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to try to build your own trains i'd be really curious if any of you can build a train that can actually decide which direction it goes at the split and be able to successfully traverse that split you're going to need some type of mechanism under here that like releases and grabs on again in order to get over those uh metal bars because uh, I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do that is, but it's interesting that it's there and I'm wondering what the intended, uh, the intended solution is. If there even isn't an intended solution or is it just supposed to look like a train thing. So let me know what you thought of the train. I mean, it was a relatively quick build. I didn't use any reference pictures or anything like that. I just kind of built it and uh, tried my best. The angle pieces was really what kind of took up most of the time and then painting wasn't uh, too quick either because of that. We really need draggable angle blocks. Draggable wedges would be great, but I think they've hinted at that in some of the dev vlogs in the past. So, uh, can't wait for that stuff to come out. So let me know what you'd like to see in future Scrap Mechanic episodes. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe because more of it is coming up. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.